Hey guys, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today I have a 2005 KZ New Vision fifth wheel trailer, and I'm going to be installing the Global Link baggage door locks. You may also uh, have heard of them, also called slam latches. Uh, these are going to be a nice upgrade for any of your locks on your doors that may be coming off or may be deteriorating. These here have actually, well, they're pretty bad actually. Tops have broken off. The bottoms aren't holding on anymore and it creates a hole there where you get a lot of water in your door and uh, you may end up having to replace your door if it gets saturated. Adding these in is giving you a nice upgrade on your camper doors. Also, they're going to come with keys so they're going to be keyed alike and you can key them with any other latches you may have on your trailer. Uh, there's a number. You can match those so that all your keys are the same. Each lock is going to come with two keys. As I mentioned, these are going to be a nice upgrade from your standard locks. Uh, these are going to be much more durable. You can see they have a nice flush finish on them. Uh, I, in my opinion, I think they're going to be easier to use. You're not going to have these wings that you have to turn every time and unlock this uh, to open your door. Simply unlock it and you pull your hand on when you want to close it. You just let it go. You don't have to worry about latching this keep your door closed. So let me put in a little scenario here. Uh, maybe we're rushing to get out somewhere, we're running late, and we start loading all of our stuff. We close our door, but forget to latch these. Now our door is open because it's not being held closed. We get halfway down to our trip, find out that we're losing stuff. Benefit of these is once you close your door, it's going to be held shut. So if we forget to lock it for some reason, forget to latch it, it's going to automatically be latched with these handles. In my opinion, a lock like this over this is going to be a much better upgrade. A nice black powder coat finish. You can see very large in size. If we open it up, we're going to have a very large base here so that it's very durable, very sturdy. It's going to be a much better hold than a small lock like this. Now these are going to be OEM replacement locks. So if you already have these locks installed in your camper, like a lot of new campers do, um, you can get these in a couple different ways. If you're just trying to replace the handle part, or you can get a handle, a base, and two keys for the lock. You can find those here at eTrailer. Or you can do what we did here. We had some old locks that were starting to come apart. They're starting to loosen up. They're just not working as good. And our customer wanted to upgrade to get him installed on an older camper like this. Uh, you just have to make a small hole in order for this to fit inside. A lot of different reviews from other customers that have have these locks on or have installed them uh, really like them. They like how durable they are. They like the, the finish. Uh, they like how easy they are to use. In my opinion, I really like them also. Uh, I think this is a really nice upgrade from these older locks. And being able to just let your door latch close like that, uh, I think is great. I think it, uh, it really holds the door in there tight. To start our installation, we're gonna open our lid up. And off of the nut on each side, what we're gonna do, and it's really up to you how, where you put them. This is just a measurement that I'm using. I want to measure from the edge of the nut over four inches. And we'll do that same thing on the other side. Then we're going to take our base. And you can see how that lever moves. What you want to do is I took a zip tie because once you put this in place, it's going to sit against the handle. And you need this down rather than sticking out like this. So what I did is took a zip tie, ran it around, and pulled it down. There's actually a mark. You can see that mark right there. Pull that down to where it sits like that. That way we get it lined up correctly, and it's not going to be too far. Take a zip tie, push it until it clicks once. We're going to feed it around that like that, and then around there. 
we're going to take this plate on the underside and I'm going to bring the, the end of this out to this line. Center it on your mark. You're going to have two small screws that come in your kit. They're for the lock plate that goes on the lip on the camper itself. I'm going to use these to hold this plate up. I'll put one there and I'll put one on this side. Then you're going to remove your plates, you're going to use the same drill bit and these holes to drill all the way through to the other side. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Take a piece of cardboard and make a template for this front side. How I did it is you take the handle part of it, take a piece of cardboard, and if you push this down on there, it'll leave marks from uh, where your screw holes go in onto the cardboard. And you're just going to cut around that. And you want to fit flat just like that. Once you get that made, take your cardboard. And we're going to even it around our edges. Take a pin. And we're just going to mark a square. Just like that. And do that on both. And we're going to take a large drill bit. We're going to put a hole in each of the corners. You want to make sure you go all the way through. Once you get your four holes in each corner, take a jigsaw. We're going to cut that square out. We can come back and clean up our edges. Now we're going to take our handle, put it in the hole, we're going to raise it up. We're going to take our base, cut your zip tie off. We need to get this lever back behind here. So we'll kind of push this down, kind of slide that lever up. And we're, going to, we're going to line this up with the holes. You're going to have long screws like this for bolts. We're going to put one in each of the four corners. Next, we need to mount this plate on this lip here. So the way to do it is I'm just using my finger to line that up. Set it right in place. And then we're going to take our small drill bit that we used earlier. We're going to drill pilot holes and then the screws that we use to hold these uh, our backing plates up in place are going to be used to hold these down. We're going to repeat that for this one and then the other lock. Now what we'll do is we'll test out our door. Be working pretty good. If you need to make any adjustment, what you can do is you can take this back off and the bottom edge of your square hole, you can shave that down a little bit more. It'll bring this lock down just a little bit more and it will lock in there a little bit tighter. I think this is okay to me. Now for your other locks. You can either leave them on or take a Phillips screwdriver and take this bolt out here Pull this plate off, take a washer, it'll fit over it, put the washer on, put the bolt back in, and then it just becomes a dummy lock. Each lock's going to come with a set of keys. Once you get your locks in place, take your keys, make sure they're going to lock into place. 
Once you've got one door done, you repeat the process on any other doors that you're going to be installing these locks. That's going to do it for a look at and installation on the Global Versa basement door locks on our 2005 KZ New Vision 5th wheel trailer.